Hello friends, we are looking at the island of Trinidad, which is part of the country Trinidad and Tobago, and we will be looking at the capital city, a specific part that is east side Port of Spain. Port of Spain is the capital by the way. Really this is about east side of the Brian Lara promenade. Because you know, the east side of Port of Spain encompasses a lot of places, but I am not going to be going into all of those places. I know some of you will say, oh, you said east side and they expect to see this or that, but you know. Within reason, you remember I'm walking, so this whole video I am actually on the road. Right here I'm starting by the Cathedral of Port of Spain. We're heading east. And you shouldn't recognize um, these parks that are right behind the cathedral, Columbus Park and so forth. I see William H. Scott building in the background. And that's the Chimuk Bakery, which in some ways is legendary just because it's been there a while serving most of the people in Port of Spain this is the side of Port of Spain that I would dare say is the most neglected and you can see a lot of derelict buildings not as kept as maybe the west side which is near the Hyatt that's the statue of Columbus The local Carib community, Amerindians, um, protested a lot for that statue to be removed. But I don't want to get into the political angle of that. You can always feel free to comment on the comments area of my YouTube channel in this video about it. Or do you feel that it is something from our history that really cannot be changed because you can't change history or it should be removed? Now, inside here it had these statues. Great artwork for me. But some of the vagrants have decided to use it to hang their um, clothes. In fact, in the background there, that building is also used as a homeless shelter slash car park. I really like the design of this art. A river flows into the sea, comes all the way from um, St. Anne's. Now often in these videos, I know some of you may be even older than I am and will often chime in and say, well, you know, this is this or that is that or you missed this or you didn't say that or whatever. You know, I can really only go based on the amount of knowledge I have of an area. I definitely do not claim to be a historian. And in every place that I visit, I can only go based on what I know of the area. So, you know, feel free to always comment the comments area. You can always pinpoint the timeline and add to places that I see. I have no problem with that. Always willing to learn. Always willing to accept those with greater knowledge. And it's appreciated because we all learn along as well. 
But when you do respond, please respond with a timeline because sometimes people will just say, oh, it's this building or that building in an hour-long video and, you know, we really don't know what you're talking about. On the left is the Besson Street. Um, used to be the Besson Street Police Station, but um, you can see it has a huge uh, upgrade. And when I say used to, I mean that it, it didn't look like that before this is that is the best on street police station but it didn't used to look like that now it, it looks you know very modern and whatnot anyway this is a, a fairly new statue as well um <clears throat> also art that i really like i would love to see more things like this around the city it's a shame that it's all the way here on this side and can't be appreciated by more people who may pass through Independence Square. Nevertheless, there should be more of them. Associated with that is a little park area here, but it's more or less been occupied by the homeless. And that across there in that street is a church deliverance temple. Personally, for me, I'm known for its shouting, the way they shout when they preach. Now, if um, you see some sort of delay, like what am I doing? Am I drunk? It's sometimes because um, something is interrupting me or usually I have my son with me, he needs assistance and so forth. From my knowledge, the east side of Port of Spain, you know, many have wanted to develop it so it becomes modernized, but just never really reached that stage I don't know you can always chime in and, and say why the Eric Williams Plaza there was supposed to be as far as I remember an attempt to start that modernization but for me it never reached that stage you know tall buildings with people with derelict houses wrong just does not add to the aesthetics of a city if you're gonna build a tall building you also need to upgrade everybody's place as well a lot of the east side is full of residential places apartments and people with their own lands and houses That's what it looks like from the walkover. We are facing west right now. And that's the Eric Williams Plaza. And now we're facing east. To the lower right there, that's Piccadilly Street. Actually in this video, I recorded this part of Port of Spain in two shots on two different days I should say you'll notice today is kind of gloomy lots of clouds rain etc although it's not raining right now and when I came out the next day it was very sunny so you'll see those contrasting days What do you think? Does it look different? Is this how you recognize this side of Port of Spain? Again, always feel free to comment. But please keep your comments to this video. You know, a lot of people like to bring up stuff about other places and going here or there. This is about this side Port of Spain.
You can see a lot of the houses from way back when on the left. Um, still in the same look. They haven't been upgraded. And you know this this part of Port of Spain really can use some upliftment. As I've said in many of my videos, probably some grants can be given to people in certain locations that enable them to just upgrade and, and maybe some kind of follow up to make sure that the money is spent on upgrading their buildings or whatever. And as you know, JB's man cave is all about the raw, so yeah, you might see garbage on the ground or whatever, but that's the, actually the reality of what goes on. You know, I don't just spend my time picking up all the nice stuff. Because that's not really what you would see if you were walking around, right? When you walk in real life, it's not like an edited video where you just only see the good stuff. And the idea is for you to see the reality of things as they are. Now some of you will say, well, why don't you go up and down some of these streets? Well, I have other videos for that where I do that look for them that's not this video this video i'm staying more or less to just east of the brian lara promenade this guy who was in the park kept nagging to talk to me so we talked for quite a while he didn't want to be on camera so I didn't. This is the the next day when I came. We just looked at the central market there. That's a 360 view. Those towers in the background there between the trees. That's where the footballers got their apartments. That's Eric Williams Plaza. I started there by the priority bus route. Now I do have videos for uptown and downtown Port of Spain, but in those videos I don't cover these areas, so hence this video. These roads take you to and from the highway, passing through the Beetham. These areas are the kinds of areas that people will be say, "Oh, you don't shouldn't go here," and you know, so dangerous, crime, whatnot. Well, at this hour, and when I came, I didn't feel that way. Like it, like anything else, crime could be anywhere, anytime. You just take all the necessary precautions, but you know, a lot of these areas is just people trying to live. They are not criminals. Those are the apartments I was talking about that were given to footballers, local footballers, sort of as a gift or reward for 
the sportsmanship. The sign post. I thought it was well done. Shows you how many miles to whatever location. That's a Kingdom Hall Jehovah Witness place. They tend to have their places neatly kept. We are walking towards the west. This would be walking towards Independence Square. Some of these pavements have indiscriminate traps. You always have to watch where you're walking because there could be a hole, there could be something can trip you. Now this sign was interesting because it's pointing to where it says you are now leaving East Port of Spain but it's facing in the wrong direction as far as I understand. We pointed the other way. So crossing here. Let's see if we can cross safely. These are city buildings, as far as I know, created by the government. Again, Eric Williams Plaza. Piccadilly Street. This has a lot of history, this particular street. May not seem like much, just some apartments on the left and an open area on the right, but the older heads should know. If you have details, feel free to come and share them in the comments area.
Now on the left is I keep pointing towards the um, police station across there because behind me is a place for the homeless. There are a lot of homeless there. I really didn't want to have them on camera for their own privacy, that is. This dog looks like it's in bad shape. Unfortunately, you see a lot of dogs on the road like that. Crossing the river. Now, this is supposed to be part of the walkway, but as you can see, it's unsightly. Really, you're supposed to walk up the road, but it has become like a garbage dump there. So, some people are forced to cross on the road. But, you know, I wanted to show you how it really is. I think the biggest problem with a lot of areas in Trinidad is simply maintenance it's not that they don't clean there are people that will come and clean but you can't just clean one day and not the other days or you, you know you can't clean today and wait two weeks to come back and clean I mean there needs to be daily maintenance and, and that's a great way of, of getting employment for people too Many will say, oh, well, they have, you know, URP or whatever for that. And yes, but, you know, they go from area to area. It's not like they are continually maintaining one particular place. Now, this is a city. So, a city needs daily maintenance because of the amount of people that pass through here. You know, you can't, you can't just do a one-off and then come back two weeks later. It just doesn't ha happen like that. You need to have maintenance and you know I have created many videos of Port of Spain eh? some of it some of those videos specifically focused on the amount of trash poo the smell and stuff and there were people who get get, get angry because they find I shouldn't be highlighting that stuff well you know if you don't want to hi highlight, you don't have to watch it. I show the raw. This is the raw, the reality of Trinidad. And for those of you who say, oh, I came to Port of Spain and I never saw that. Well, that's probably because you don't come to these parts of Port of Spain. You probably park your car in a car park. You stay on the West End by Central Bank and West of Frederick Street. And that's it. Then you go home. But that's not the reality. This, this, all these areas are part of Port of Spain. This part here takes you up to the eastern main road this is South Key and I just love this building now you see how these trees are on the sidewalk here the whole of Port of Spain should be like that trees green just do a lot and you know there were some areas in Port of Spain along Frederick Street and Park Street I think they, that they were doing this but I noticed slowly they have been removing them I'm not sure what the problem is if they're interfering with the um, 
overhead wires or whatever, but I would like to see more of this. On the left is City Gate. Now some street boys. You will notice that some of these streets are very quiet, right? This hour of the morning there are. And it's sad to say, but a lot of businesses have closed down and have chosen not to um, open in this part of Fort Spain. Now when I was younger, there were businesses here. These streets were busy. But as time has gone on, um, businesses have shrunk towards being mostly in Charlotte, Frederick, Henry streets. Some in Edward and Richmond and so forth. But uh, business places, commercial business places have shrunk to those areas and not much on the east side of Port of Spain. Not building in the background the HDC, that's what the government uses to facilitate people getting homes. The frequency of that happening is debatable. I can always talk about it in my comments area of my YouTube channel. Just don't go all berserk and political, you know. Some people will start commenting about certain parties or certain people in government, but I don't approve those because my channel is not about politics. See, politics and religion, those things are very close to people's hearts, and you will find yourself trying to walk up a wall by trying to convince others about their personal beliefs. So, you know, rather than be contentious or have contention on my channel, which I just can't stand, um, I don't talk about politics. I don't talk about religion either. Although I feature religion, it's, oh, um, I feature it in a respectful way, as a cultural identity for a lot of people. That city gate, it used to be a train station. Trains would pass through here. Go all the way to the south and so forth. That's Charlotte Street and up ahead is Chinatown. And you can see the immense amount of people crossing there. Coming out of city gate. Let's try and cross there quick before that light out. In green, so I need to kind of rush. At least they allow the look of the train station to remain. So many things have been taken away that identifies us with our past. Now I'm pointing the camera downward because I don't want to get people in the shop keeps people privacy. This is City Gate. City Gate allows you to take something called maxi buses, like mini buses, to different parts of Trinidad. And in Trinidad and Tobago there's a color code system based on the color of the maxi you can know which area it's going but for more specific areas of course when you enter the max you need to ask the driver you know are you going here are you going there etc
This is what it's like to be in City Gate. And you get a better view of the city from here, at least more or less the east side. Where we are facing here is north, looking at north port of Spain. But we are actually in the south of Port of Spain. When they first introduced this system, um, I remember a lot of people complained because there are just so many steps to go up and go down in order to get to the maxi. Before the maxis would just park on the roadside and you would pick up whatever maxi was more convenient. Um, personally, I thought this system could have been done a little bit better. But you know, there's always room for improvement. What do you think about CityGate? You can tell me in the comments here. And that's a good look at East Port of Spain there. Now we're going to look at the other side of Port of Spain that I haven't covered in my other videos. This is where they repair and keep the buses. And that's Maxi Taxis down there. You can see them. The red color ones. There's also green in this. Um, city gate area but I'm not seeing any green right now green would take you to central those are the kind of buses that we have here in Trinidad I heard an announcement there's supposed to be electric buses at some point What do you think about that? Something that I wonder about that is charging stations. Those buses would have to carry some huge batteries in order to sustain the kind of electric fuel necessary to power a bus. So, you know, a lot of ideas have always come forward and Sometimes you just never see them come to place. These are little shops that um, were in City Gate. They used to be more popular, but I noticed they're all closed up. That's the coastline ahead. We're gonna go. We're gonna walk down and get to that part of Port of Spain as well, so you can see it. Again, anything that or areas that I may have missed, you need to look in my other videos for them. A lot of people say, oh, why didn't you go here, there, again. I can't do everything in one walk. So there are other videos for other parts of Port of Spain. Look for them They're on my channel. If, if you really feel like you can't find something, just ask in the comments area and I will link you up but you can search in the search section of my channel not the general YouTube search you have to go to the search of my channel depending on whether you're using your phone or your computer it's a search bar underneath the main search bar so there's one search for YouTube and then there's a search specifically for my channel just put Port of Spain and it will bring up lots of videos about different areas of Port of Spain. Because Port of Spain is a big area, but this is the city area, Port of Spain proper. It's where I'm covering. These are people waiting for buses. I see big buses.
this is the shopping food area of city gate all of this used to be a train station by the way and that's one of the buses there waiting to be filled and an evening here can be really packed with people and I actually like our transportation system in that unlike other parts of the world let's let's use the US as an example if I wanted to go from point A to B I would have to either get the regular bus or take a taxi and taking a taxi in the States is nothing like here because you you're on a constant toll and every mile you go you have to pay you know X amount of dollars but here you can go from point A to B and there's a set fare and you can drop out practically anywhere now true the difference is you have to share the vehicle with somebody but you know who cares when you're getting a cheaper ride This is Broadway in South Key and that's a lighthouse You can tell by the decorations when I took this took place That's a traffic warden that's coming there on the right This lighthouse has been here forever, but has taken on a different look as time goes by. Sadly, it is not well maintained, and you'll see why. Don't let the paint on the clock fool you. I think more can be done with these sites. Lots more. This is taking it to the highway. Rising Road. I'm facing west right now. Just ahead there is the port What are the ships that are there take you to Tobago And that's a green band maxi on the right And we have a closer look at the lighthouse Those towers are the central bank. Some other government offices are there as well. We refer to them as the twin towers. 
They were designed by Anthony C. Lewis. Now, the delay in me moving across here is because I'm waiting for traffic and the lights and whatnot. But uh, while we do that, you, you know, you get to take in Port of Spain from this section because I know a lot of you may drive past here and not really see much. You know, you just want to get where you're going, but never took the time to actually get out and walk. And this is the lighthouse. It's garbage. Looks doesn't look kept, you know. Again, these are areas that for me should have you know wrong the clock and maintenance and signs and stuff that give you some historic angle about you know what the lighthouse was when it was built, that type of thing, you know. These kinds of things build up pride. It's an overflow area, some pumps. This area is referred to as sea lots. And while this is the ocean, no ships can come here because it is very shallow. You can see how you can see the ground right there, but it is always kept in a sorry to say shabby way. And I have seen plans covering decades to up upgrade here, huh? but they keep saying, "Oh, we want to change here. We want to put a proper port, a proper promenade, this, that, the other." But really, I have never seen it come to fruition. So much more could be done with our coastline rather than blocking it off there should be things done to make it appealing and inviting after all we are a caribbean island but there's nothing really to indicate this is a caribbean island i mean if you were watching this you wouldn't think this is a caribbean island right and you'll say, oh, you're in a city. Well, because you're in a city, you can't look Caribbean. There should be lots more trees around, some coconut trees, some more beautification. I don't know, it just has that drab look to it. And please don't comment to me about how other places look. I'm not talking about other places. Because other places may want to keep their place looking bad, does that mean we have to as well? I just don't buy into that argument. On the left side would be the port, and on the right side uh, Independence Square, South Key. Now, coming to the end of this video, my camera's battery was running out and I had to take this shot a few times. So if you see me fade to the same shot, do you know why?
we just passed what is supposed to be a train museum, but I have never seen it open, to be honest. There is a, a small train on the outside that you can look at, and I have shown that in other videos. And then right there is another maxi taxi outlet. It's not part of City Gate, but it is its own thing. And those are yellow bands. Maxis, they take you to the west. So if you want to go to Carnage, Diego Martin, Pitty Valley, St. James, anywhere like that, um, you'll take those maxis. Those maxis also run further up in Port of Spain as well. So this is what I was talking about where I feed it a, a similar video. I'm just walking towards where you go to get a boat or the ships for Tobago. Here we always say take a boat to Tobago, it's really a ship or a ferry. So this is the terminal, you would go there by and buy tickets in order to go to Tobago. At the moment it's, uh, it's about $50 I think is the cheapest rate to go on a ferry but there are higher amounts, $100, $150 depending on if you want better seating or a faster ferry or whatever. I'm going to walk here towards another terminal where you can take a ferry that goes to San Fernando and I will also show you something called a breakfast shed and around there I will end the video because I have other videos that continue on to different places. This video is mainly to capture Port of Spain proper and the places that I did not capture in my uptown or downtown videos so if you haven't seen uptown port of spain and downtown port of spain make sure to look for those those buildings i had as the um, hyatt was also one of the building service as a government building they also used to have parliament there when the red house was under renovation. Those other buildings on the right are buildings that are also for government. I think a lot of these projects were built during the Manning era. As part of upgrading for the Spain. Now this part of Port of Spain is well kept, even though you saw some garbage and stuff earlier, it's more or less well kept and um, I guess because this is where the tourists tend to land, you know, they come in with their cruise ships and whatnot, but they can't just keep up this area, they need to keep the whole of Port of Spain looking good. That's where you would take a ferry to go to San Fernando. And that's your breakfast shed. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please share, like, and let others know about it. Thanks for watching.